Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Kravchak. Hey everybody, it's great to see you all. Thanks for taking the time to be here with us. We've got some great concepts to share with everyone here at SEMA, but also with our digital guests who are joining us through our live video stream on Twitter. And for you guys watching this from the areas impacted by Sandy, well, we hope you're doing well, and we hope you're staying dry. Now, speaking of video, that little clip at the top of our news conference represents a small slice of something we call the Hyundai Remix Lab. Now, the Remix Lab is a kind of traveling showcase designed to showcase vehicle design, technology, art, and music. And it's just one of the Hyundai brand experiences created by our crack marketing team, led by Steve Shannon, who's here with us today. Steve, can you stand up, give a little wave? Everybody, that's Steve Shannon. And after crossing the country, Remix is gonna hit the Vegas Strip tomorrow night. And I hear Steve might have a few tickets for some of you guys, so be sure to hit him up before you leave. We can get you into that show. Now, you guys might be wondering, what is the relevance of Remix to SEMA? Well, as you're about to see, Remix has inspired a brand new Hyundai model that we're actually gonna be bringing to market this year. Now, before we get to it, let me just say this. Being at SEMA is something we look forward to every year at Hyundai. We've been doing this at least for as long as I've been here, and it just keeps getting better and better and better. We think this is our best SEMA show ever. And we love hearing your opinions. We love to hear what you guys think about our cars. So, you know, if you want to, we'd love to hear your opinions through Twitter. Join that Twitter conversation. Let us know what you think about Hyundai and our SEMA cars. Now, today, we've got quite a diverse collection. In fact, what's unique about our presentation for you guys this year is it represents the full spectrum of vehicle development. It starts with factory concepts, and we, Hyundai, made two of these cars ourselves this year. That's a first. It continues with that new production vehicle I mentioned. And from there, the tuners take over. And we've got a really creative group right here on the floor of seven tuner cars we're gonna unveil for you right now. Altogether, we've got 17 different cars throughout the SEMA show, by the way, that we've sponsored. So why don't we start with this production model, which will arrive in Hyundai showrooms this holiday season. Now, as we said in our launch advertising for Veloster, this is a car engineered for whatever. And Veloster truly can be tailored to your personal tastes. If it's innovative design and fuel efficiency you're looking for, well, we've got a naturally aspirated standard Veloster for you. And if you want a bit more performance, we got something for you there too, Veloster Turbo. And now, if you'd like something with a customized look and a unique set of features, we've got something unique for you as well. In fact, it's making its world debut right here, right now, in front of all of you. And here to reveal it is Veloster product manager, Michael Evanoff, assisted by Sydney. Are you guys ready? We call this new model, oh, I love this, camera's at the ready. We call this new model the Veloster Remix Edition. So it's inspired by the music, technology, and design found in our Remix Labs. This Veloster Remix Edition, we think, looks like nothing else out there. We've given it distinctive 18-inch dark alloy wheels. We borrowed the LED head and tail lamps from the Veloster Turbo, and we added our own unique Remix body kit. And then we applied this exclusive sprint gray color scheme. We describe it as kind of a glossy matte finish. Now that's the Remix feature color, but it's also gonna be available in five other colors. Now inside, the Remix Edition features a premium dimension audio system with eight speakers, an eight-inch subwoofer, and 450 watts of power. It's a lot of power for a car that size. We've got an interior LED lighting package, too, to add to that club atmosphere inside the cabin. And we complete the Remix with unique badging, Remix floor mats, and great convenience features like proximity key with push-button start. Now we're limiting the production run to just 2,000 vehicles, so get yours quickly, so that this custom-inspired Veloster retains its exclusivity. And the best part? I think it's this. Often special edition models are the most expensive models in the range, right? That's usually the case. But with Veloster, we took a different approach, and this Remix model is priced at just $19,900, which puts it closer to the bottom end of the Veloster lineup instead of the top. So anyway, that's our production car news. Now, 
let's take a look at some of the concept stage vehicles. And I can't think of a better man for this job than our president, vice president of product, I just gave you a promotion. <laughs> our vice president of product and corporate planning, Mr. Mike O'Brien. Now I gotta tell you, I flew here from Orange County. I was enjoying Sprite and peanuts on the uh, lovely Southwest Airlines. But I heard a rumor that Mike O'Brien beat me here on his new sport bike. So what do you got for us, Mike? Come on up. The first car we've got for you is an R&D Skunk Works project of our very own. It's a fresh take on the Veloster created by Hyundai's Design and Technical Center, or as we call it, Hatchy. Several of the creators are here today, including Uban, who has been selected to do the honors. Ladies and gentlemen, here now is the Velocity concept. Velocity was imagined as a no-holds-barred factory racer, one that pushes Veloster's design highlights to the extreme. Those body modifications provide just a hint of the excitement this car delivers on the track, thanks to a 400 horsepower Veloster engine fully tuned by Cosworth. With four-pot Brembo brakes, Bill Stein racing dampers with racing springs, and many more performance and track safety upgrades, as well as a casket design interior. Nice job from the gang at Hatchie in Irvine, California. So that's our R&D team's concept. Now let's see how our top tier tuners are taking Hyundai beyond. We received five times the number of proposals from tuners this year compared to last. The first comes from one of the world's most respected engineering houses. To reveal it, please welcome Nicole from Cosworth Engineering. And now let's get a look at the Cosworth Genesis Coupe. Cosworth specifically tuned our 3.8 liter V6 for daily driver stability rather than tire smoking power. With intake, exhaust, electronic, and other modifications, this naturally aspirated engine generates 389 horsepower and 325 foot-pounds of torque. Cosworth has teased more out of performance from every other system as well. Braking, suspension, driver controls, and a more purposeful exterior that improves aerodynamics and brake cooling and the result is simply beautiful. This is the first time we've teamed up with Cosworth on a SEMA car. Now let's turn to one of our longtime partners. Here to reveal this creation is the president and CEO of Art Performance, Ted Lee. So if you're ready, let's take a look at the Genesis Coupe R-Spec Track Edition. This vehicle is based on the Genesis Coupe 3.8 liter R-Spec, which in stock trim underwent some big improvements this year, including direct injection. With a stroker kit, blueprinting, and other engine upgrades, ARC has endowed this coupe with 395 horsepower and 340 foot-pounds of torque. A big brake upgrade and the ARC coilover system keep it all under control. And as you can see, it looks pretty incredible with the ARC carbon fiber hood, deck, wing, and other bodywork. Thank you, Chad. A fantastic car. Mark has brought another car to the party, which we'll see in a moment. Before we check it out, though, we've got another first for you. It's the first Palantra GT we've ever brought to SEMA, and it's our first SEMA car developed with this California-based hot import shop. To reveal it, please welcome BC of Bisimoto Engineering. All right, BC, let's have a look. Elantra isn't the first name that comes to mind when you're thinking about unbridled street performance. But with this Elantra, BC Moda intends to change that. This front drive racer develops over 600 horsepower, 602 to be exact, 
all from a fully built 1.8 liter inline four, featuring high performance pistons and connecting rods, turbocharger, water ethanol injection, and many more upgrades. PC Moto also fitted the Elantra GT with its own coilovers, safety upgrades, and a custom gauge plus a readable and light speed. At least I hope it is. <laughs> Thank you, BC. I'm sure this car will make for some interesting weekends out at Willow Springs. Next up is another Veloster interpreted by a designer, photographer, and car culture creative force known as John P. We're glad, glad to welcome him in his first Hyundai SEMA car. And now let's take a look at the JP Edition Veloster. John called on nearly 20 suppliers to realize his vision for the Veloster JP Edition, all mentioned in our press kit. So thanks to all of them. With his vivid mint green paint and fenders bulging over 19 by 9.5 inch wheels, the JP Edition takes Veloster's natural attention grabbing skills to a whole new level. The interior is an even bigger feast for the eyes and ears, thanks to an Alpine audio system with three amplifiers and 13 speakers. I'd really love to hear that when we wrap up. Thank you, John. And now back to our friends from ARC. You've seen what they can do with our rear drive Genesis Coupe. Now, let's see a fresh take on the Veloster, which we will be revealed by Michael Chong from ARC Performance. All right, Michael, let her rip. The ARC Veloster Alpine Edition was created with one goal in mind, beat everyone else to the mountain slopes. It's tuned to deliver 232 horsepower and 240 foot-pounds of torque and features carbon hood and trunk lid, lots of arc body parts, and 180 custom headlamps to guide you through the falling snow. And just in case you get slushy on the slopes, the interior is water resistant with Alcantara, leather, and breathable WeatherTech fabric. Kind of makes you look forward to winter, doesn't it? Thank you, Michael. For our final show car, we have a collaboration between Hyundai and the aftermarket part shopping site, fuelculture.com, represented today by CEO, Joey Redmond. Okay, Joey, let's take a look. The Fuel Culture Genesis Coupe shows the level of customization that can be achieved by an enthusiast using available, readily available aftermarket upgrades with a wide body kit, dramatic side skirts, candy apple red paint, and a long list of performance, interior, and audio enhancements. This coupe is a real head turner. Thank you, Joey. And thank you to all our partners and show sponsors for these inspired versions of Veloster, Genesis Coupe, and Elantra GT.